This is such a predicament of serious research. The latest issue of the briefing report is just out. The briefing is a monthly summary of market behavior, whether we're looking at sectors, factors, portfolio results. And in this particular issue, we home in on this idea of active uh, performance. If you look at the cover chart, and what we're looking at here in the left panel relates the performance of growth blends that we run. These are multi-factor models representing various growth strategies. In this case, uh, what we've done is l l taken a skew small versus large. And what you'll notice is this massive performance gap has opened in the growth sector of active portfolios. And to no surprise, the large cap growth blends, in this case our GARP model, is lagging the small cap growth results by almost 30 full percentage points. This is a big deal in the last 12, 18 months. Our suspicion here, however, is that as much as this market's become quite narrow to an extreme based on some of our measures, this represents fundamentally the performance challenge of most, most large cap growth managers that, we're, we're, that, that are in the business today. If you look to the right panel, there is still some performance edge for smaller companies, but the divide is far far from what we're seeing in the growth market in, the, in our value blends. So in this case, our active relative value blends, the small cap blends are doing better, but at least on the large cap value side, they're still adding value. So the question is, what's what's this divide? Besides NVIDIA, what else is going on? And, in, and what we begin to realize very quickly here is that valuations seem to matter in most parts of the system. The exception mean these largest few stocks. So uh, what we're getting at is active management seems to be very relevant outside of this large nifty uh, seven sort of uh, pa uh, grouping. Uh, importantly, though, what this says is that if the profit cycle continues to expand, which it seems to be, and the credit markets seem to be healthy, uh, this phenomenon is likely to continue. This broadening will likely continue. Ultimately, though, this challenge among the large growth area is likely to remain front and center because of just the recent earnings release of NVIDIA that was favorable. In addition to that, this idea of a broadening seems to be taking place just about everywhere else. If you look at whether it's smaller cap innovation shares, Bitcoin, clean energy, it does look as if what's going on now is that investors are looking high and low for additional opportunities. So we suspect that this is more likely in a world where the profit cycle is no longer slowing like it was the last couple of years and has begun to reaccelerate. One final note here is that looking at infrastructure, also a theme that seems to be coursing through the markets has been underway for the last few years. It remains quite strong, outperforming in large, mid and small. A lot of this ties to the idea that in a world where oil prices are likely higher, where we're witnessing uh, quite a bit more EVs uh, being released on the market, a lot of these things coming together to really force more of an infrastructure bias. It, as a result, driving performance. Take a look at the full report. As always, with any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.